Saudi Krap, welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza and it's Wednesday, February 21st. We got a lot to get to, so let's get started. A landslide this morning at a construction site near the Vashida Phuket Hospital had completely buried three workers earlier today and one is now dead while the others are recovering at the hospital. News broke this morning at about 10 a.m. of the landslide at the construction site, which is to become a medical clinic for children with disabilities, and it happened as workers were leveling the land. Rescue efforts were quickly launched soon after the landslide, with teams descending onto the site to help recover three workers who were completely buried in the soil, all Myanmar nationals. One of the men who was pulled out of the soil was not breathing and it's believed he died of asphyxiation. Though details are still being gathered. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And a strong sedative was used on this man yesterday, but only after he threw what some might describe as a temper tantrum or hissy fit near the Chelong police station. 30-year-old Kitty Sak Sayung caused quite the commotion at about 10.30 a.m. yesterday morning as he was seen lying in the middle of the road, then yelling and shouting at motorists, even kicking cars. While some pedestrians were able to restrain the man before police got there, authorities say he refused to talk with them, and they took him to Vashira Phuket Hospital to see if he was on any substances. The woman who last year was arrested with several others and later confessed to killing and chopping up the body of a karaoke bar worker in Konkan province well, she's now recanting her statement and pleading not guilty to murder charges. 25-year-old Priya Nuch Preo Nong Wachai, along with four others, they face a death penalty if they're found guilty of premeditated murder in the case of dead 22-year-old Warisara Klingjui, who was strangled to death in a car, her body cut into pieces and thrown in a shallow grave in May of last year. At the time of her arrest, Preo and several of her accomplices caused quite a stir when they were seen putting on makeup and getting chummy with authorities in photos following their arrest. And they had later confessed to killing the woman for allegedly giving police info that led to the arrest of the suspect's husband on drug charges. Breo testified in court this week saying she quote assaulted the victim adding that she simply wanted to teach her a lesson having no intention to kill. We'll keep you up to date on this story as it develops. Sit tight, Phuket Extra. We'll be right back after this. Thailand's premier SSI Diamond Dive Center. Visit us in Geelong or on c-bees.com. CB's Diving. Adventure in good hands. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The protests outside the United Nations office and other government agencies in Bangkok, where it's now over after the government decided to conduct new impact assessments on the coal-fired power plants in southern Thailand. Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha called for supporters and protesters to remain calm after the energy ministry agreed to conduct a new study set to be done within nine months. And if it recommends against building the plants, the projects will be scrapped the issue is the building of two power plants, an 800 megawatt facility in Krabi and a 2000 megawatt facility in Songkla, both scheduled to be open by 2025, but opponents were concerned about the pollution that it may have caused. After several protests and rallies in the south, opponents of the project headed to Bangkok last month for the protest, even beginning what was originally described as a hunger strike back on February 12th all with the aim to spur the government to cancel the projects altogether. And despite being sought for crimes in Thailand, fugitive siblings, ex-prime ministers, and apparent jet-setters Thaksin and Yin Lakshinawat have been cited in Singapore this week, just the latest in their Chinese New Year travels. The siblings were seen at a hotel in Singapore yesterday, according to the Bangkok Post, speaking with a group of unidentified men. It's the third location in which the siblings have been cited following recent visits to China, Hong Kong, and Japan. And in fact, 10 lawmakers have met with the pair in Hong Kong over the weekend, according to the Bangkok Post. Ying Lakshinawat skipped Thailand last year just a day before she was to be sentenced for her role in the rice pledging scheme for which she received a five-year jail sentence in absentia, while her brother Taksin was convicted in absentia in 2006 on conflict of interest charges. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. If you're watching us on YouTube at thepuketnews.com, 
You can check out all these stories on the links below. From all of us at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.